All right, some of my past videos, I've showed you how I uh, made the signs, but I'm gonna show you on this one how I lay out the signs. I have a two monitor system here, and I'm for video purposes here, I'm just gonna be using mostly the main one there, the one to the left. Anyways, I'll show you how I start off from scratch to make a sign if I have to. Uh, most of the time I have them saved because I made so many signs that I saved them in. Not all the signs in the MUTCD we do because we don't have full freeways here in the county in Napa. We just got two lane roads. That's the most we have. So I have to make a W1-5, which is a advanced warning sign for a windy road. This website that I use, I like, it's called uh, trafficsigns.us. And it has them already in a PDF format, which makes it a lot easier. So I'm gonna go into my warning signs and I'm gonna go in the W1 series. Here's what I want here, the W15. I'm gonna make it to the right. It, it has the layouts in um, various colors, the yellow, the orange, green. Anyways, I'm gonna click on my layout. So there's my sign. It has all the specs and everything. I'm gonna make the 36 inch right here. Uh, most of the signs that I make are 36 inch for the warning signs here in the county. Um, it shows the, the insets and it shows all the little various um, specs on the signs. So what I'm going to do is I have a program called PDF or Primo PDF. So I'm going to print this. I'm going to click print. I use a program called uh, PDF Primo. Primo, something like that. Here it is, Primo PDF. I'm going to click that and I'm going to print this sign. And then I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'm going to create a PDF. And then I'm going to save it to my desktop. Save. So now it's saved on my desktop. So I'm, I'm done with that one for now. So what I want to do is I'm going to open up my Omega 5 software that I use. Um, it will uh, let me lay out the sign. So what I want to do is I want to, that sign that I just printed out, I want to import it. Right click, I'm going to import. Um, I'm going to look on my desktop. I got to look under all files. Okay, it's the W15, here it is right here. Now I'll click on the desktop and it's gonna um, populate the desktop with the uh, PDF. Take a second here. So there it is, I'm gonna enlarge it a little bit so you can see it. It's got all the specs and everything laid out. I'm just gonna pick out the stuff that I want. Uh, what I'm gonna do is highlight the, the borders and the arrow. I'm going to copy that, make a new screen here. I'm going to print it here, paste it, I mean, excuse me, paste. Now this size is only a four inch by four inch, barely five inches by five inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, enlarge it to a 36 inch sign. In order to do that, um, I'm going to go the size, actually uh, cancel that. I want to rotate it first the shape. I want to do a directed roll. I want to go 45 degrees because I need to turn it on its side so it's square. So now I can make all the edges 36 by 36. I'm going to resize it. Go into my um, program here. I'm going to make it 36 by 36. Oops, 360. So it's going to be 36 by 36. So there it is, 36 by 36. And it's still not quite done. I'm not sure what that radius is that they gave this sign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, set my inside. These are just like little guidelines that I'm going to set on it now because I'm going to redo the whole thing, the, the uh, borders and stuff, and I'll show you how I do that. So these little guides I set up, it just, it's a, just a reference for me to put the borders back in. That arrow is going to stay exactly where it is because that's on spec where it goes. So I'm going to delete those lines and I'm going to make my um, borders to start with. So I'm going to start with my sign blank, which is going to be 36 by 36. And then I can set my uh, radius. I'm going to set it at 2.25 for the turns or for the edges, I should say. So there's my 36 by 36 right here. That would be actually my sign blank. And what I'll do is I'll turn that sign blank yellow. Just kind of show you. So that's going to be my sign blank 
once it's covered with the diamond grade. So right now it's 36 by 36. I want to use my tool and I'm going to outline it. Actually, I'm going to trace inside of it. Um, my first border is minus 0.625. That's an offset from the edge of the sign to the first inside part of the border. Okay, and then I'm going to bake my thickness of my border. It is going to be um, minus 0.8. 875 that's the thickness of the border 875 is a 7 8 inch border so there's my borders I got to group them together so the plotter can kind of um, understand what's going on here and those are going to be black I'm going to arrange those to the front so now here's what the border is going to be like my border is already set so what I did those reference lines that I have. Now I want to move this back in. And I'm going to place it exactly back to spec where it goes. Um, so the arrow will be exactly where it's supposed to be. There's my reference points. They turn red when they're lined up. I'm going to get rid of those reference points because I don't need those anymore. So there's my um, W1-5 to the right. Uh, that arrow is going to be black, and I'm going to bring that to the front. So here's what my sign looks like. It's already set to spec and everything, and it's got my 2.5 inch radius, or 2 and a quarter inch radius with my 7 eighths inch border offset 0.625, which is about 5 eighths of an inch, all ready to go. So I have my black lines that my plotter will cut out. Now, if I send this off to the plotter just like this, all this space in here on a 36 inch sign is gonna be wasted. That's a huge amount of waste. I think on one of my videos, I told you about all the waste and everything. So what I do is I pre-make my, cover my yellow, my substrate is gonna be the diamond grade yellow, and then I put the borders on. So then all I have to do is really print out the arrow and place the arrow in where it goes out to spec. Now, in order to buy the software, complete with all the MUTCD signs on it. It's costly. It's over $2,000. So quick way that I make mine is just real quick like this. And, it, and then I'll, I'll go ahead and save this as a file. And it, it um, saves me a lot of, I can't say it saves me a lot of time. It saves a lot of money. And because there's hundreds and hundreds of um, MUTCD signs. And we, don't, we just use the basics, um, you know, advanced warning, speed limits, stops and stuff like that. And there's no reason to um, invest in big big things when we don't have a lot of the signs that are on the highways because we just have the two lane highways. Anyway, there's a simple way. That's how I start to lay out my um, sign for um, make, when I make the signs. And it's uh, pre pretty simple once you get, get the hang of it. I can make these. Then I'll save this for future reference so I won't have to make this one again. But anyways, I thought I'd kind of share that with you. That's kind of like the behind the scenes before you even get into making the sign. Alrighty, thanks for watching.